All right, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to do a new tune, Blackberry Smoke, Restless. Really cool tune. Uh, also, I'm going to have tabs, so you want to check that out. Also, uh, if you're a subscriber to my channel, if you want a PDF version of the tabs and a Guitar Pro file, um, which you could, uh, which is just the guitar parts. There's no bass, there's no vocals, or none of that kind of stuff. It's just just the guitar parts. It's basically everything I'm I'm going over here in the uh, in the um, video. But it's good to practice where you can slow it down and, and do things like that. But just shoot me a message on YouTube and I'll reply back and I'll send you a link to, um, to the files. Now this is just, just for my subscribers. Um, if, you, if you're not a subscriber, just hit subscribe and, um, and I'll send it out to you. Um, I'm trying to get that 100 subscriber mark. I know it's no big thing, but, you know, I'm trying to get more subscribers. And, uh, and uh, this is what I'm going to do. So, let's get into this tune. Really good song. Enough of my blabbing. Start off with the intro. Okay, first thing you'll notice is you have a percussive mute on one. It's like one. Okay, so just check out the tab, and um, this part though is pretty important because it's played pretty much through the whole tune. So um, just get that down, it's not hard. Okay, so uh, the intro, we got. Now, when you go to the D, it's slightly different. It's not. It's. You're hitting a chord, then you're hitting it again quick. Just check out the tab. It's not that important, but that's what he's playing, so I figure I, I, I'd throw it up there. Um, also, there's a little variation, well, not a variation, but a, a little... Uh, I can't get the music out of Okay, so that part is just, uh, check out the tab, I'll have that up there, then it goes back into the, um, back into the verse. Okay, and then, um, after the verse you got a little, a little guitar break. Okay, just I yeah I have that tabbed out so check that out I'll have it up on the screen. Basically, let me play it real slow. I'm just gonna check out the tab I got I have that tabbed out and the rhythm underneath that is same thing and um, then it goes back into the verse okay then it goes back into the verse and then you got the same rhythm pattern that, that uh, I've already shown you just got a few little uh, riffs Oh, you know what? I'm not going to tab this out. So I'll go over this. You can play it one of two ways. Or you can play it. So the easiest way to play it is to slide from the third string, second fret to B. Open E. D, third, uh, second string, third fret. So you're creating this little, it's like part of a G chord. And you're just going straight back up. 
So you're sliding from A to B, E, D, B, slide back to A, open G, E, open D, E. So you got two options there. That way. And also you can play it another way. So it's completely up to you. Basically the same thing. One's using bends, one's using slides and open strings. But if you want to play the bend, you can go, uh, you're going to bend up a full step and hit the open A. Then you're going to hit the second string, third fret D. And then you're going to go. You're just going to, you, can, you want that D to ring too. It sounds, sounds cool. So you got uh, open G. The uh, fourth string, second fret E to open D back to E, and um, then you got another lick. Okay, that is um, starting on the fourth string, uh, seventh fret A. And you're just gonna you're gonna hammer to the B ninth fret, and you're gonna just go down to the third string, do the same thing, but you're going from the the D to an E, and then you're gonna play um, a little double stop here, seventh fret third string D, and you're gonna play the second string eighth fret G, and then you're gonna pull off from the uh, ninth fret. This is on the third string to the seventh fret. Then you're gonna hit the uh, D again and slide to E. So you got. You're bending the um, 14th fret A, third string, and also you're going to be playing the uh, second string, 15th fret D, and you're going to play that. Um, it's going to be five times total. It's like one, two, three, four on the fifth. One, two, three, four. The fifth time you're just going to you're going to bend it up, release, and then you're going to play um, third string, 12th fret G the 14th fret, 4th string E. And... Okay, then you go into... Then you go into the course. You got, um, you're gonna play an E. Check out the tab, I'm playing, now you can, you can play, you know, whatever, it's an E chord. And then it goes to, um, e, then it goes E, G, D, let me play it. D. Yeah, the, and then you just got the E, then it goes to a C, it's like a C add 9. Right, it's 5th string, 3rd fret C, open uh, G, 2nd string, 3rd fret D, 
came to a ditch. Then he goes into another guitar break there, and the rhythm is the same. Underneath it, you're going to that E, D, and A, and then it goes back into another verse. Okay, after, um, then go, goes back into the verse again another, uh, another time around, and there's just a slight variation on the end. Yeah, you're not doing that, you're not doing that part there. Um, you're just playing the A chord. Back into the E, G, D, A, G, D. A. Now he does it one more time. G, A. Okay, coming out of the guitar solo, it goes into the chorus, and then it just ends. E, G, D. E, G, D. E, G, A. E, C, D. That just about covers uh, covers the song. Now there are a few parts in there I didn't uh, do a few licks, a little guitar break, and a guitar solo. But um, I want to keep the videos, uh, you know, relatively short. But I do have the tabs up there. Also, um, if I get enough views or comments or requests or whatever on a certain tune, I certainly will put up a, a guitar solo and I'll have it tabbed out and all that. Also, um, don't forget if you want a PDF file for the tabs that I did and um, a guitar profile, uh, just uh, shoot me a message on uh, YouTube if you're a subscriber and I will send you a link so you can download that. If you're not a subscriber, you can still, you can still get it. You just need to subscribe first, then send me a message, then I'll send you the link. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers and um, I'm pretty close. I know that 100 subscribers is nothing, but, um, you know, I guess you got to start at 100 and hopefully get more. I'm um, also, uh, subscribers, if you, um, if you like this channel, I mean, and you're, you know, you're learning some stuff and, uh, you, you know, I, this is going to continue. I mean, I wanted to, um, I, I'm, it's a big learning curve for me. I mean, I've never done it this way, like with a camera or YouTube or anything. I mean, certainly teaching guitar, um, but that's one-on-one -on -one and a little different. So um, it could, the channel is going to continue to improve. Um, I want. I'm trying to figure out a way to improve the audio. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way to um, just to make the sound overall better. But there's so much going on. Um, you know, learning like just the video editing. I'm trying to build a website. Um, it's just a lot of stuff. And I can only, uh, there's only so many hours in a day to do this. But certainly the, um, uh, I have a lot of ideas uh, for my channel and for my website. And um, it's just going to take some time. But I, I you know, I don't want to do this alone. I, I'm trying to build up a, you know, a decent amount of subscribers. So as this thing evolves, it kind of evolves um, uh, with my subscribers. And, uh, and certainly I want to try to make something more, a little bit of a guitar community on my website where uh, people can get together and share uh, you know songs videos tabs and um, and things like that so uh, thanks a lot for watching don't forget to hit the subscri subscribe button and if you want the PDF and the guitar pro six files um, shoot me a message and I'll send them right out to you thanks for watching